What matters to you? It was a simple question, but one that changed the quality of my brother's final few weeks of life. It's uh, just so wonderful to be here. Nursing care is so good. People can come and go as they please. I just love being here at this stage in my life. What mattered most to Richard was that he was listened to and heard and treated as a person rather than a patient. It was a big surprise to move to hospice care because it's, it's a privilege and not everybody gets to have that experience. I'm so grateful that I'm here. They just take care of everything and make sure that I feel good and doing well with all my systems of my body. One of the things that we feel quite strongly is that time it can be very, very short. So our role is to try to build as much report because again, it's about focusing on living. Of course, we prepare and help people prepare for the moment of death, but most of it's about focusing on living. And one of the things that we ask every single day is what matters to you? What are your focus? How do you want your day to be about? And because we're focusing on them, they feel heard, they feel seen, mm -hmm. they feel safe to, to, to actually open up and start talking about the, the concerns they may have. So for us, it's just, trying to find the person in that in the patient because oftentimes when you've been through so many different healthcare settings until they, they reach us, you know, it's most conversations that are about the disease and everything. So for us it's about the person. So another question we often ask is what do I need to know about you for you to feel safe mm -hmm. with us? And you hear the most amazing life stories and you can just see light coming back into them. What mattered to us was that the environment was restful, it was calm, people listened. They were compassionate, but also honest about the situation. How long have I got, then? Well, that's a really tricky question. Well, it's a very honest one. Yeah. We do know that cancer of unknown primary is quite aggressive. Mm -hmm. So we're probably looking at weeks and mm -hmm. short months, which I know is a horrible phrase, but mm -hmm. a few months at the most. Yeah. Thank you for being so kind to us all. Of course. Just making it clear what needs to happen. And there's like a sort of a amazing feeling of wellness creeping in as well, which is a bit surprising. That's the love, I think. Huh? I'll be keeping a really close eye on you from yeah. distance today, just making sure you're still okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My brother Richard died on the 21st of July, 2024. Richard felt privileged to be at Martlett's, and to be honest, so did we. The whole team at Martlett supported us, and this has made our grief for Richard so much easier to bear. To think that the incredible care we all received at Martlett's is due to people like you, people we've never met, it's so inspiring. To keep Martlett's supporting families like ours does cost money, so please donate whatever you can so that Martlets can keep asking the question, what matters to you, to families like ours?